man. You see that thing on here, my two cents, fraud class. <laughs> Hey, I want thing with two locks just now. We might go talk him, mind him, draw the line. And when you feel him cross the line, he might go tell you the truth. So we might design. But glad said the pod class never hard for fine because he's with him. Talk when feel and him no busy if you're with him. Book him in the season, but the feel he will be fidgeting. Topics up and topics from me, that he will be visiting. Big people reason, not feel like it's a fit me thing. I feel pay attention to the damn like when witnessing what is this I am witnessing. Soaring to another level and you cannot click the wing. <laughs> yeah, me I say no man of the action boss. Representing the My Two Cents Pod Class, Chad Class. Sing again, sing again. I want them again. So didn't I tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm is coming. Lion Queen, yo, we want them again. So didn't we tell you that the beast is roaming? Yeah. Protect your children. Call like a raging storm is. Yo, 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 yo. Listen up. Blessed, welcome to another episode of the My Two Cents Pod Class. I'm your host, Tulax the 876 Rebel. And as usual, today's episode will be brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except fingerprinting. We also offer the finest and best in embroidery services in the island. Check us out at 876 and also to get direct access to the updated merchandise you can simply follow us at rebel 13 collections on instagram also brought to you by kaizen oils some of their oils include meadowgrass for itch rosy for beard and scalp hair growth and wildfire for natural lubrication each part of making kaizen oil products are done by hand from planting to bottling Kaizen underscore oils. Check them out on Instagram. Still a reminder item. Check out Curly Locks. Book Planet. Her. Available on all digital platforms. Available in Jamaica at jamaicadeals.com. Oh, well. Mama run, go abroad. Just to get a better life, yeah. The pressure is on. The pressure is on. The pressure is on when the world comes crashing down on us. Oh, we get weary running from the authorities. Ginger making us say the pressure is on, and that song is basically derived from everything we see going over there in Florida as it relates to the new laws. You know what I mean? I snap play over that. You see me and the Jamaican, they have to take with themselves and they're all over in the US. Right. Now, seeing, I you know what we have to do is say big up every Jamaican all across the world. Big up every Jamaican and foreign. All the one them way. Run way. Because you don't know more why they have to touch out to make a better way for the youth. Them. You see me? But no matter how I go out in the days in a foreign. Seeing, if you're not legal over that, make sure you say every waking morning and your papers depth on your mind. Everybody, especially the undocumented people, them all over the world right now can relate to that one. So if you don't know, so that one is one big banger from Ginger. You don't know if you don't know, just go on over Ginger Vivo. Got tough up it. So I want to address two little things before I go into the show. See? Now the first one I say is this. Frustration over SSL case could force interviews from both that damage Jamaica's reputation. To protect Jamaica's image, sports legend Usain Bolt has kept largely quiet about his almost 2 billion allegedly missing from stocks and securities. But frustration over a lack of updates could force a change. His attorney Lincoln Garden says, he said while some things cannot be published, Surely, even the assurance of the depositors and investors as to what is being done ought to be done. First of all, just to even mention that Jamaica have a reputation for protect. At this point, which for Jamaica, reputation depends on the world stage. It no look good from day one. Our leaders don't care or no know this. Reputation. Bold money are going to destroy Jamaica reputation. You know, Fisa? We are talking about a country where 
human sacrifice I make. Don't have more We are talking about a country that has one of the highest crime rates in the entire world. We are talking about a country where the leader them rob at whim and get away with it. Jamaica, where people like Bolt are dead to get them respect. Bolt dead to marry them for money, yet still while him alive, them thief in money. We are talking about a country where Bolt and people like Bolt is a victim of the colonial mindset. In Jamaica, it's the equivalent to racism in America. See, this is where the big man, not like the little man, no matter where he's rich, and he will never be accepted. You realize a while ago, them say allegedly. Can you believe that? Not at all like constitution reform has never and will never address the situation where one set of Jamaicans feel like them better than the other. So if you don't feel like Jamaica's reputation only boil down to bold money, you know, make a sad one. Jamaica not have no reputation left. Right now, anything anybody hear about Jamaica is totally believable. And to the show, I got prove that. Jamaica is no longer Jamaica. What kind of reputation are you not about? Which reputation? Jamaica when I have a culture still have a reputation? You know, tell me in the comment section. And the next thing I want to talk about, I'm not going to believe it. I may alone read that and can't believe it in a total shock. So Jamaica got trained Haitian police to deal with crime. When majority of our police them obviously need training themselves to understand crime from our ground. And that's somebody that tell me. Tell me how Jamaica can pat hole now fix. But your feet say you can fix Hate the crime situation. You know, tell me if Johnny stop keep comedy boss. Because we just find one of the baddest comedians in a Jamaica history. This year man here joke them not normal. Andrew, the comedian of the year. Trust me. The biggest joke them you can find. Dave Chappelle them have to run with man. <laughs> and this part me feel like you just wake up all the time and say, yo, what go on the world? Anything here, man. <laughs> We could have trained Haitian police and that's a good one. At, me, at this point, I just feel nonchalant and no business. Like, you just, I don't know. Here's why I say if you focus on your own country. Because if you remember, say, Haiti, condition and position right now on the world stage never happened overnight. You know? All of the uprising that you see going on in Haiti and the condition of Haiti you know, right now stem from the fact that they have pure oppressive government whenever they care about the people. We never do what them say them are going to do. After the French, seeing take side with Papa Dak and Baby Dak and support them oppressive regime against the people. Here they lack trust for any kind of governance right now. They're not going to take no running from no outside force nor inside force. You know. Everybody just want to govern themselves. And according to what I say, I go on now, Jamaica is heading to Haiti. I mean, I talk about passport. You don't need passport for God. All you have to do is stay here and look. If Jamaica continues to go in that direction, yeah, when we see it ahead, and the leaders don't care because, as usual, them have them offshore banking, them safe. And you want to tell me, if you train all of them police, they would incur no resources, zero resources, it's going to take for training them police. Eh? So you're going to spend your country's resources with already straight for the next country. And this is not to say Haiti does not deserve the help, but you are in no position to help nobody because you are down to. If you're in a plane, for example, see, and your oxygen mass should fall, the first thing the air hostess is going to tell you is fix your oxygen mass first before you fix even your baby one. You know why? Because if you pass out, you can't help the baby. Turn out dead. How you end up? So, invested. In the welfare of another country while your country literally has suffer. Jamaica don't have a civil unrest and look at our crime rate. And you can't manage it. But you think you can manage to help out Haiti in a some sort of way? Somebody at Haiti obey you know, Mr. Prime Minister. You can't trick me you now. Them obey our work, man. Them obey our Prime Minister now. I try to get our Prime Minister. Every single idea we get is to do something in Haiti. When ignoring them own country. And you're just so invested in this specific country. Hope one day we're not come to learn the real reason why you know. We can name out 10 Caribbean countries where got you hell. 
And we never look over the pandem. Look how much country get volcano and all type of thing. And I'll know we're not even seeing a veggie bun. Look how much Caribbean country get hurricane. And we never go help them. How you get so helpful, Mr. Prime Minister? At this rate, let me show you the level of trust me have for politician. Usually, when they're so helpful, something is up. And the energy they may get from you, Mr. Prime Minister, may I pray. Semiran. Alright, so straight into the main matter of the show scene. Now, Queen of Africa, we don't know who are each are still, but everybody have them load for carry and whatever it is, I hope in due time you feel better and you can come back 100 to yourself because guess what? People hurt with all the time and things say it's just, oh yeah man, it's okay. And then most of them give a psychological burden for carry. A whole heap of people give a psychological burden for carry boy. Yeah. And the best way to deal with that nowadays is learn to accept who you are and where you come for the inner the life and focus only upon that. Fuck people, people are wicked. It no matter who them, family, friend, it don't matter. And this is not me telling you not to love people. This is me saying love yourself first before you can love people. And it's just a specific part of the video. I'm going to really use for today's show. But I implore everybody to watch the full video because majority of our Queen Africa say that video makes sense. I agree with everything and that's life. I don't have to. But a specific part of the video stand out to me and I decide I'm going to talk about that specific part of today's show. See? Now, the specific part of the video I'm going to talk about is Unite with Jamaica people, the whole Jamaica for stand up like 1998. When every Jamaican stand up together, uptown, downtown, middle class, bottom of the barrel, everybody get up and demonstrate against the gas eye. It could have easy for me to say, yo, make a protest, but I never know who me I tell. Because the ones them were forgot, they're afraid for what? Because them afraid for lose them life over something where they don't have nothing to do with. Alright, Queen Africa, cool. Here's why we will never have another 1998 uprising. Because you say, well, then the people them afraid to lose them life. Basically, you talk about protest. If them go protest and them lose them life, and we are talking about high civilian casualties, right? You say the people them afraid, and them fear is related to basically them afraid for dead in any protest, right? So, me I tell you this the people them sell out. The people them choose them side because me and you know see a spiritual war going on in the earth right now and it's a war between almighty and the devil and most people take the devil's side because it seems like an overdose of the fun there remember one time when people used to look to leaders to lead them because they need a little thing and you know any little thing you promise them they're happy and them out there because they need a leader now everybody up on tiktok yeah taps on roses and beer Intellectual beggars, them turn the people in now. And everybody and their mama they on social media and start making a little thing. Do you think for a second them people are gonna allow Babylon to take back them comfort upon them? Do you think all of a sudden their moral obligations are gonna chip in back when it's time to stand up and protest? Oh no, no, understand how Babylon thinking you know, how them set up, you know. Remember when you're poor, you don't have nothing to lose. So guess what? The spirit of protest will always remain within you. Because guess what? We're not going to make my poor. Hmm? So you think Babylon do now? Babylon start giving them TikTok and Instagram and YouTube and beer thing to make them start make more money than what them naturally used to. So when Babylon goes, so boom now, and threaten to take all of that from you and you have something you have to live for now. What do you think people are going to do? So once a month, start making a little change. I aim that. Oh, I now say nothing. Next thing them cut off my TikTok. Nothing new. These are the new slave catchers. When Babylon pacify them, I make sure they eat a food. At them, see them one day, I go in farm. And the one them actually want to come off of the grid and stand up and protest. Them. So Babylon always have them things where them throw at you. For comfort you, so you good enough to go catch the slave them for them. So when time come, when people want to come off of the grid and stand up and protest, at the tops and roses, and the people them we are get their money from Babylon, I go be the biggest stand in the side of the one that actually decide for protest. So you still feel like afraid them, afraid them, afraid. 
Babylon pacify them by giving them things. Same like how them will pacify the slave catchers of the past with nice stuff. Or at least what they thought was nice stuff. Mirror. But them never see from them born and give them and tell them there's some sort of magic and them turn idiot. Hmm? And the same concept by which they gave you simple trivial things, bead. And you give them diamond for the bead because you never have a clue what is value. Them give you bullshit and take your goal and go with it. Look how easy it is. Forget money now. You don't think all of a sudden Babylon just ease up and I make sure say all of the minimum we just can just make money. You don't think an accident make people and make money off a TikTok and YouTube and them things so easy. This what them do is for tie you to them system that you can't let it go when the time come. Because guess what? If you're already poor, where you have to lose? Nothing. So you know what Babylon do? They are going to bag of things. Fellows. That's when the time comes. You start measuring your life based on where you're going to lose. So guess what you're going to do? You're going to remain dormant. You're going to remain docile. And you're going to remain on the them side. No matter what. The biggest fear Babylon have is a public uprising. From the citizens. Any country at all. You check any constitution in the world and see if the biggest fear them have is not an uprising from the public. But why haven't Jamaicans, especially because Jamaica may come from, been able to protest? The same piece of something them going on and make love on TikTok and everything. So everybody contented now. So every other rights where you're supposed to get for yourself become irrelevant. Unimportant. So you're not going to protest for no reason at all. It's too late. They taste the cream. And the cream nice. So why me should I go back and fry dumpling and, 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 and dumpling and butter and some poor life? You're not going to go back. You're not going to willingly go back to suffocation. If you experience opulence in a, any kind of way, for any kind of level, you're not going to go back to that. And it's a natural reaction too. So do not think, say, all of them something you just get up and make money from a world where from day one them set up the world for the rich, rich and the poor, poor. Tell me why all of a sudden poor people can find some way out so easy and nobody now realize that this is a trap. They know that if you are already poor and you are the little farm and you live off of the earth, that's not the right time to approach you and ask you if you choose between God and the devil because guess what? You are already poor. So you all choose God because God is hope. I'm going to tell you, say, poor people strive off of hope. And if God is the hope of them, I live off of you. can't go to them when they're poor. Go tell them to choose between God and the devil. So you know what them do? Go on some money for pacify you. Know? Because the money of our morals now, you know. So the more money you make, the more you resist God or the concept of God. Because when you're born, I hear you, I hear about God. God has never been physical. So when them send God, Feed them God in a the physical farm when name money. Which God do you think you're going to choose? And now, I am looking on at my country at its weakest moment and the leaders who are pushing it down the most and the quickest and the fastest are the very leaders in the farm of the footer hypes then. And all these influencers Everyone is batting for their specific needs that they have whilst living here. Footer hype you for jump on a plane and they are Jamaica. Oh, you they America fight for Jamaica. You can't fight for Jamaica, America, footer. But because of you guys doing what you're doing in your ignorance of greed and wanting to be the one and everybody want to be the one, you all left Jamaica people behind because of that. All of them used to listen to, uno move them out of the way and now, uno come now, want to come be tutors. Alright, mama. You see, to that way you just a while ago, I totally agree. You have a whole heap of people when you're real. The things they do publicly and the life where they live privately, contradictory. Yes, a whole heap of people where you see, attack something and they go on like they are the most righteous thing. If you ever know who they are, out of the spotlight and out of the hype and the ratings where them are look, you wouldn't believe it. That are true. But guess what? If Jah decides I'm gonna use you as a vessel for the message, you can't do nothing about that. My opinion is this: 
everybody we are trying to lock the gate from corruption to come together because guess why a few are we left so with a foot are real or him fake or him this or him that leave out the party focus on the mission here is why you can't judge people based on some long locks and oh so righteous now holy pa man is righteous with you man holy pa rasta what you think say in a them time you when corruption rampant did i hear them voice where are their voices no I'm mean, sure say, at some point some of them will rate them and call them Rasta. So many things said, no, no, we're not in a position for judge the other. What we need to do is come together and deal with the mission. Because remember, you know, you come out with one video one at a time. Boy. People could have said you're a Rasta. People could have said you're, you're weak. You drop the mission. But guess what? You brush off that because no human on earth not perfect. You brush off that and you're back for the mission, you know, and that we appreciate. We can't judge people by them faults. Judge them by them works. You they back on the mission and you know, I may appreciate that. I'm not business but no video where you of yourself you know, right now. That's it. What foot are do? A real thing. Whether they agree the methods or not, whether they live a foreign or not, that shit no matter. Which part Marcus Gavi did live? When he might fight for black people. Jamaica. Marcus Gavi spent majority I'm life in America. And you know this. And even when them tell life on Marcus Gavi and deport him to Jamaica, Marcus Gavi that for run a England go live the amount of ridicule with the same Jamaican people them. Game. So I couldn't focus on the messenger. I could focus on the message. Who tell you when somebody means so? Tell me. How you know say mean it or him no mean it? Holy for the rest them. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, didn't mean it, you know, you remember? And you believe them, though. Now you live for the majority of them, and it's fake. And them never ask, none at all. What foot of hype do? Hmm? It take guts. Foot of braver than three quarters of the man, they made it have on them turban. Whether they are firing a burning fire or not, the fire burn, and people still remember them roots. People still remember them culture. However far and few in between. So I could stop pine finger for one another. Oh, you know real and the one they are doing kind of more look bright. And all type of things. You know much thing them say about me over here? Hmm? So I depend on a mission here. Because me I try to look intelligent. And if you ask me, me dumb down my intelligence in order to reach the common man at that whole heap of people and me dumb it down. Because I want to talk for them understand me. When I deal with them like a politician, I try to get ratings for them big word boy. I don't depend on that, I don't depend on ratings, I don't depend on nothing at all, I depend on the mission. Some of them people here, yeah, you and them get the same experience in a life. It's like if you not credit them for teach you a life teacher and a life teach them, you know. But if you come just because they did dead with you, you have to give them credit for have sense. If you learn the things where you learn and I teach the things where I teach, you have to give them credit for Come like you know one class and the teacher teacher said two and two are four. And then bam, you go out the road now and say, yeah man, two and two are four. And then vex with you because you should have said, oh, the reason why I don't say two and two are four because that person already did it with me. In the dead it too. So two and two are four, and I know that because of that person. Not the teacher, you know. That person. Yeah. That same jealous spirit there, they bought from long time. Hmm? How Malcolm X lose him life? Explain that. Eh? Are the same people them when him join? We teach him everything when him know. And Malcolm X get up every single day and I say, the honorable Elijah Muhammad taught me. Taught me. So you see, I'm not credit them wanting you know, your life. You just not to exist. As long as them think them better than you, you just not to exist. Hmm? The same people when Malcolm X join, and them join up. With Malcolm X enemy them and kill him. Because guess why? Malcolm I go on like him better than people and I go on like him start the mission and him go on like this. Oh, him fear go on like when every single time him open him mouth, him go on the credit. Only for time them use credit as the excuse as to why them not like you. And it's not credit. Because you give them all the credit in the world. But guess what? It's because you're brave enough to get up and do what you do and mean it. Holy pattern then come under the name of righteousness, come under the name of intelligence, come under the name of holy pa things and I see it and them if you ever know them stay in a real life. But guess what? Regardless of how 
Elijah Muhammad them did stay, the nation of Islam was a necessary advantage to the upliftment of black people. So you see, no matter how people stay, Jah use we in spite of ourself. Me see how some people are name out everybody wickedness. And who them always have strength for some people where them never put in a power. Hmm? Only ready for cuss artists every day. I only never vote for an artist. And me can't soon you now. If you know people, artists couldn't bust. I true. Totally agree with them. But artists are provide a service. More than to tell me in the comment section what our politicians, our leaders, what we vote and put in a power to hang our money provide. Tell me now. We politicians provide promises. I only see them on in the comment section where a healing man, a sick man, vibes cartel. I soon answer the man to dead a prison. You know how serious a statement like that is? But I never soon make one wish. For them boy, I were oppressing for so much years. Oppressing no parents. One time, I never saw no wish. So, them would have got jail for what they do. Or dead at prison. Never. I mean, I think never ever live for that. We leaders, them wreck a country, but we you know, can hold artists and other people. When I have nothing to do with the political system, accountable. When you look at only that, as soon as the artist to suck my own in a comment section, I cuss and I drag them down. And as soon as the politician, them will get responsible for the situation we are in. Do anything at all, you need a comment section and defend them. Stockholm Syndrome at its finest. Most Jamaican people, especially Daya, them, have that luck. I see people that talk about all Hitler and how wicked Hitler was. And, but I'm telling you something, since you bring up Hitler, I prefer Hitler them, you know? more than our politicians. You know? Because guess why? So when Hitler them do their wickedness, they do it brawling. So every single Jew knows that they have fired that brother there. You understand? Jump on a train and reach as far as I can away from the Nazi concentration camps as possible. But our politicians, them, them always come with promises. Once you're in a bad situation and somebody promises you something, you feel like say, there is hope. But most Jamaican people live off of, by the way. Where you got to do? You know, cling to the hope there. So a man will tell us I'm wicked up front. No better than a man with constantly both PNP and Labour right constantly make promises and never ever fulfill none hmm? a man who wicked straight up no better than a man eh? hmm? when somebody make promises you know that's a rat to a trap you know and for years now the Jamaican rat them just been trapped been trapped been trapped been trapped been trapped trap. there's no difference between the Jamaican rat them and the actual rat them. Right now, if America need lab rat, then can us done with the white rat them and us fly come to Jamaica. Be a lab rat. Jamaica full of lab rat right now. The only rat them, we're gonna miss the trap. And they rat them like this. Once you're aware of the trap, you can avoid it. But most people these days are head for the trap. Headway. Not now go on in the real world. When you know about addiction, I could take drugs for example. You think a man can just get up and say, Oh, I don't do drugs? No. But you make a conscious decision, so the feeling the way drugs give me, I want it. Even if it means I'm going to look for my feet in them, even if it means I'm going to have a teeth, even if it means so much things. All I care about is this platform, aka digital drugs. Just check it and see if I lie, me and them. Hmm? You have your woman now. And you want. Check fear in a real life. Real life affections, real life everything. Them not depend on that. You try to live a private life with some of them girls and say, Well, I'm here. You could have done the world fear. You know what you have to do? Closer. And that is how you show your love. Most people know in the real world, again, things you do in the real world these days does not matter to anybody at all because they have become addicted to social validation. You can't imagine me loving in a real life and you think I lie. I'm just post a picture and you think that this man loves me so much because I post it. Social media mash up the people. We are showing how dangerous this social media thing is. A lot of people think I don't see the good in it. You know? But anything where the bad outweigh the good, I don't to check for still. See? Look how social media dangerous and it's like when you don't understand the majority of we are robot. Um, Gunman kill one whole family. 
50,000 likes. I show you how negatively charged people are because of social media. You know? And a lot of people press like, don't even realize or know why they like it and realize certain program. So, may I try if you understand? What did you like about that post? You like the fact that gunman kill one whole family or where you like the, what what is the purpose of likes? I'll know me can me know maybe too old for this shit. What is the purpose of likes if the terrible things will happen in a life get more likes than the good things in life? Me, me not get it. Me last. Because look on this. Eight year old girl abducted from school in Portmore. Throat slashed. This was posted on the Jamaica Observer. This post got 13,562 likes at the time when me screenshotted with 5,653 comments. Now, what do you like about the fact that Smarty Sash, one 8-year-old girl, children? We, we like about that. More what's the reason for a like? Like, I like this because Jesus and peace, oh, that's a good thing. We don't know why. But if you don't know, tell me in the comment section why you press like for the worst things in a society. If you think you're bad, post your business. Try sell something. No shares. Minimal comments. No likes. Just check, for example, when a man will get up and murder everybody in our village. In our villages, communities, all across Jamaica. Police killing. Check the likes. Minimal very few people but when somebody innocent get them throat cut 8,000 likes 10,000 likes and then the people that may commit these acts realize that 8,000 people like it 10,000 people like it if they don't like it may I continue usually no encouragement that when we do things and people approve of it what does that do? deter us or encourage us? tell me in the comment section I want to be safe when we can spot a difference. And these are the same newspaper relating to the same incident. Check the difference. The one I said, parent of 8 year old girl abducted from school, throat slashed. Appeal for blood donation. And the post received 1,741 likes. And both posts was just a couple hours apart maybe a day tops see so the good news said the little girl parents is appealing for blood donation instead of bury them little girl for any given sunday that not good enough for it doesn't excite you check the comment section for the one who provide the good news i see the difference check the shares the amount of share of people share the fucker. But yet still, guess who? I always get the front of the line and I said, there's no good coming out of Jamaica. Every single one I know where I talk that. I can't tell you right now, fuck right off. I'm a hypocrite. So it shows the propensity for people have the negativity. It shows stop cuss Jamaica when Jamaica look bad. Because Jamaica is just a geographical location. And the people sell out. So you can't come tell digital slaves, say them free boy. What I go on right there, some of them is that them gone in from the plantation. Way in. So you see, we in Africa, guess which part of the protest gone. You are worried, so the people them afraid. No. People them think them a protest because them are right. Comments. So many aspects to this major brain damage for the people them develop. So when we don't see them in the street a protest and we wish that people could have go back to 1998. Them think them they are 1998 because them already comment on whatever the issue is. In a, any tabloid. You never know. Once they make them comment, them think they make them voices heard. So one time we used to out there with words from placard. Now them words in a comment section. And they don't know. That these words in the comment section are so ineffective. Very ineffective. There's nothing gonna hurt you with any political structure, fear, 
more than a civil uprising. When the people uprise in the physical, nothing Babylon afraid of some. But from them give you social media, we get dumb in every way. Can you imagine? When them say technology advance, I'm back where the people them go. The people in the 1940s, 1920s did way more technologically advanced than we. You know why? Because they lived in the natural farm where God made them believe. Social creatures. Ain't nothing social about social media. You try, know that. <laughs>